picking it out. Well, I, I was right out of high school. I knew I, I had to get out of Detroit. Um, <clears throat> and I can't explain why, but I think part of that awakening to more things than the life I was living. I mean, watching, I have to say, one of those events where the bus, the school bus took us down to a venue, a uh, creative venue, was a rehearsal one morning of the Detroit Symphony Orchestra, which I didn't know what that was. And some Italian guy named Arturo Toscanini was going to, who has turned out to be the great conductor of the 20th century. And his old age, barely able to get out physically out to the middle of the and he just, he was all dressed in white. His hair was shooting in every direction, oh. white shoes, white socks, everything was white. And he just ambled out there and he managed to get up in front of the uh, orchestra and he yelled at them a little bit and nodded. And then he lifted the baton very slowly and he just suddenly straightened out to be about 30 years old. It looked like he was 30 years old suddenly because his posture was so good. And he ripped his, he just put his arms down and ripped the sound out from the orchestra that just knocked me out. I'd never heard such 75 instruments playing all at once, and it was all in one. It just all put it together in a way that I could not. And these experiences don't happen for kids anymore. No. But they just said to me, there's another world out there beyond just this factory community here. Absolutely. And I somehow or another knew I had to get out. So I, I joined the service for four years and went out to UCLA to be a writer, I thought. And that's another story. 